welcome to October and welcome to the beach at my favourite time of the year. As the weather cools and the skies turn grey with the promise of rain, the high tide reveals treasures abandoned on the shore for those who will brave the waves to look for them. I go to the beach for many reasons and uh, on this day it was to walk and think and to look for sea glass hidden among the stones and seaweed cast up by the waves. When I returned home, I felt inspired to try and find some of the sea's energy in my next painting, so I decided to try something a little different, which I will share with you fully in just a moment. I have always been a great picker up of things, even when I was little, always gathering seashells and pebbles from the beaches we visited. After the recent rains, the strand line here was filled with all sorts of things thrown up from the seabed, by the movement of the water. Other things, I was lucky enough to find a pair of stunning pieces of sea glass, which for me is the ultimate sea treasure. Uh, this is a beautiful sea foam colour, which almost perfectly matches the colour of the waves today. even found a sea urchin shell which <laughs> unfortunately I did drop when an incoming wave decided to give my feet a good soaking. I decided to take the hint and with the tide climbing even higher I went home and thought hard about what I wanted to paint. What remained with me from that visit was the sense of movement the most. So I began almost at random uh, painting on my small watercolour block, trying to figure out a way to capture a sense of those curling waves that managed to soak my feet that day, even through my walking boots.
I'm finishing some parts of this painting with metallic silver paint, because why not? The following day I removed the paper from the block, which can be a bit tricky if you aren't familiar with the process. Most blocks will have a small gap, such as this, where you can start off, and the easiest way is to use a palette knife or something similarly blunt so that you don't hurt yourself or damage the paper if you accidentally slip. I'm pleased with how this painting turned out, even though it wasn't quite what I had in mind, but that is so often the way with these things. I do love the shimmer of the metallic silver paint, I think there's good movement, good energy here, uh, which has actually inspired me to have another go, um, but not right now. Now I will leave you with the sound of the wind and the waves and I hope to see you all again soon for another adventure.